Hi everyone, a very good morning to all our fellow travelers. Today we are going to ride for a long, long kilometer. It's one side 221. Uh, we are going to, we are heading towards Chitra Durga Fort. It's 522 in the morning. Um, after a long time, I think we were able to maintain time of start. Generally for the last few couple of months, we were always late. So, see you on the road. So 80 kilometers has been covered. Uh, it's around 145 kilometers still left to go. It's chilled. I have used the washroom two times already in two petrol pumps. It's really chilled. Well, it feels good. The weather is very good to ride. This is our second break and I think perhaps the last before reaching Chitradurga port, the destination. Uh, it was a wonderful ride. I think I am going to nominate this road even better than Hassan because I kept a constant of 132 and 133 and still I don't think I was like riding at full speed or something. And finally, to my utter surprise, with Pillion along with Top Box today, I clocked the highest speed in my GS and that is 146 kph. It was beautiful. The first 80 kilometers was covered in 1 hour 15 minutes. Rather the second 100 kilometers was covered only in 1 hour. It's only 40 more kilometers, 40 to 42 more kilometers to the final destination. I think after this you will see us Back there. We had a uh, boiled egg right now. Alu ka paratha, we have kept it for kind of lunch time when we'll be a bit more hungrier. Perhaps while returning from Chitadurga port. Chitradurga Fort is situated in Chitradurga district which is only 220 km away from Bangalore. Chitradurga, the ward is formed from two different wards. Chitra means picture, Durga means fort, locally known as Kallina Kote, whereas Kallina means stone, Kote means fort. British called it as Chitaldurg. This fort has many more names like Ukkina Kote which means steel fort and Yolo Suttina Kote which means seven circle fort. The fort was built by Chalukas and Vaisalas in 13th century. Later, Nayakas of Vijayanagar Empire expanded the fort. In 1760, Hyder Ali first time attacked the fort, but he was defeated. He again tried to capture the fort in the year of 1770 and again he failed. But in 1779, Hyder Ali finally defeated Madhakeri Nayaka and captured the fort. But after 20 years, British captured the fort by defeating Hyder Ali's son Tipu Sultan. An interesting feature noticed in several stretches of the fort walls is that no cementing material was used in joining large granite cubes that have been neatly sized, cut, trimmed and placed in the position.
Paligan Nayaka built this fort as an unattackable fortification. It has 19 gateways, 35 secret entrances, 4 invisible passages and 2000 watchtowers to guard and keep an eye on enemy incursion. The interesting fact about the fort is that the entrance is shaped like a snake, so no army can just rush into the fort. The fort is constructed in seven wall series fashion. Each wall has a gate made in such a way that it did not invite attack. Eighteen temples were built in the upper fort, Hirimbeshwara, Lord Hanumana, Gopala Krishna, etc. Hirimbeshwara temple displays the tooth of Hirimba, the Rakshasa in Sanskrit. It is said that Bhima, the mightiest of Pandavas, met his wife Hirimba Devi here in Chitradurga. When Pandavas came here during their exile with their mother Kunti, a duel resulted among Bhima and Hirimba. These are two little lakes named after two sisters who lived during the rule of Madhakiri Nayaka. It is said that the two sisters who were the wives of Madhakiri Nayaka committed suicide by jumping into these lakes to protect their honor when the army of Hyder Ali captured the fort. Vapa was a brave woman who fought the forces of Hyder Ali single-handedly with a pistol. Ubaba was substituting for her husband. She was guarding a secret path when she heard some noise of some enemy soldiers trying to enter the crevice. She hit them one by one with her onake that is the pistol with such force that they all died. This was the main section and administrative block. The entire building was built by mud. The wall of the main were made by throwing mud between two planks and compacting it. This small temple 
it was actually a safe where all the jewels and coins were kept. The safe was 32 feet deep. Whenever the fort was under attack, the soldiers would leave an idol and the safe turned into a temple. Here every stone unfolded a story and every leaf unveiled something deep. We have already started our return journey. Uh, it's 1.45 in the afternoon. Uh, it will definitely take around 4 hours to reach to our home. I filled up my full tank and just right away from it uh, a few distance a few meters from the same place we found a good place we bought a small water bottle and we had our her uh, beautiful aloo da paratha so now we are full energetic we are going to route directly towards home